Good afternoon, boys and girls. Happy Wednesday. Today we are going to be taking our October CFA. Remember, this is just the common formative assessment, or I like to call it just a little quiz for all of our first graders just to see where you all are. So I'm going to be reading the directions to you. Um, make sure that you do your best. If you are getting frustrated or if you need to take a break, feel free to pause my video at any time and come back to it whenever you are ready to work again, okay? So go ahead and put your name at the top for us, if you would. And we're gonna get started with number one. <clears throat> so here on number one, it is showing us seven different circles. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it wants us to use these circles to do the subtraction problem. It says, write the number that's three less. So if I have seven boys and girls and I lose three or take away three, because it says seven, take away three, how many will I have? So if you would like to use these circles, <clears throat> excuse me, and take away three by crossing them off, putting a mark through them, however you need to mark it. Take away three of those circles, count how many circles you have left, and I want you to write that number right here. So do that now. Seven, take away three. <clears throat> Number two, when you're ready, again, if you need more time, feel free to press pause, okay? When you're ready for number two, we are going to find the missing add-end, okay? Now, there's no picture like there is for number one, but there's lots of white space over here. If you would like to use that white space to draw a picture, to help you solve, that is a-okay. Feel free to use that white space, okay? We are going to be solving five plus what gives me nine. So I think it wants you to count up. So if I'm at five, how many more numbers or steps do I need to take to get to nine? I want you to write that number in right here. Five plus what is nine? Number three, I see the same numbers again, except this time they're in a different order, okay? So again, if you wanna draw a picture out here and then show your subtraction, you are welcome to do that like we did for this one up here, okay? Or if you wanna use your fingers to count back, you can do that too. But we're gonna start at nine and we're gonna take away five. So nine take away five is what? Write your answer in the blank for number three. Number four. Again, if you wanna use pictures, you are welcome to use pictures to show your subtraction like we did for number one or if you wanna use your fingers, you can do that too. But it wants us to start at 10, and it wants us to take away five. 10 take away five equals what? Write your answer in the blank. Number five looks a little funny, but it's just flip-flopped around. Instead of the answer being at the end, like it is here, the answer is just in the front, but we read it the same way, okay? So 13, if you want to draw, if not, that's okay. Start at 13 and take away seven. And so instead of our writing our number for the answer back here, we're just gonna put our answer in the front. So solve 13, take away seven, and write your answer right here. Feel 
free to pause me if you need to. I'm going to start on the back. You are doing so well, boys and girls. There's only two more questions left. These questions just take up a lot of space, okay? All right, on number six, it wants us to use the number line to solve. It wants you to figure out what subtraction sentence is shown on the number line. Okay, so the arrow, it looks like we started here and it looks like it's going this direction, which means we're taking away, okay? So if we start here, how many jumps did I take? How many jumps did I take? And what number did I land on? Okay, so what number did I start at? How many jumps did I take backwards? What number did I land on? Solve that now. And last but not least, we have a story problem. We've worked a lot with story problems over the last few weeks. So this is perfect. All right, we have Sally. She has eight flowers, but she gives six of them to one. How many flowers does Sally have left? Now it says draw a model to show your work. So boys and girls, even if you are not picture making people, okay? If that's not your favorite thing, I still want to see a model of your work, okay? So I want you to show me that Sally had eight flowers. How could you do that? How could you show me Sally has eight flowers? And then I need to sh you to show me that she gave six of them to Juan. Think about how we could show she gave six away, okay? So once you draw out the problem, you're finding the answer as you're drawing it out. I want you to count how many flowers Sally has left. How many flowers does she have left? If she had eight, but she gave six of them away. How many does she have left? Okay. And then we're gonna take that information and we're going to put it in a number sentence. But real quick, I want you to do the first part first. Eight flowers. She gave six to one. How many does she have left? Okay, and last but not least, we're going to look at that bottom part where we're writing a subtraction number sentence. How many numbers did she start with? How many did she give up? or give to one, and then this is where we put our answer. How many flowers does she have left? So boys and girls, the number here should be the same number right here. Okay? Again, if you wanna re-watch this video to have these problems re-read to you again, that is A-OK. -okay. Make sure that you are doing the work, okay? Mom and dad want to see you do well, but make sure they are not helping too much, okay? So that we can see your actual work, okay? I know you did great, and I can't wait to see how well you did. I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye, friends.